we're back to that generic mass again. You know, it's just like anything here. Anything here at all. Even though you're not a fan, you got to comply with what they say. And they don't want to advertise your own team. So, alright. Football, uh, they don't know how it's going to happen. Right now, a myth. No more than 40,000. That's it, more than more than 40,000. That's the first minute. And they have to do social distance in the stadium. And if you are a family of three, the three of you can sit together, but then the next person too will have to be that six distance between the park. All right, y'all. All right, y'all, it's your boy. Shake so, shake diesel, shake diesel. And man, I'm riding, I'm making me a trip. We just had our little meet. Damn, I cut my beard, dog. I accidentally tried to trim my beard in the guard, fell off, gashed it. So I had to go and cut the beard all the way off. Y'all know I like my beard, my Rick Ross, my Jane Harden, whatever you want to call it, but it'll grow back. So, maybe look real slim, though. Maybe look real slim. But right now, y'all, we I'm riding, heading to Columbus, Georgia, to Benny Auto Parts. Yep, heading to a Benny Auto Park, Columbus, Georgia, to pick up a wiring harness for my truck bill. I got to have this harness. It's a plug and play harness, so I got to have this harness. So I'm on my way right now to go and pick that up um, so I can get started on my bill. My job, Announced that we going back to work Monday. Which I'm really sad about it. Really sad about it because it seemed like um, these businesses and stuff they're opening up, like they don't care. They don't really got they don't really give a hell about the people. I understand the budget. I understand. They really don't want to pay the students back for the transportation. They already paid. Some students already paid in full. I understand all that totally. I'm mean, I'm just venting until I get to this auto park place. I understand all that, man. I really do. But at the same time, if the COVID, instead of rising, not falling or not gone, we're in the we we're, we're getting putting ourselves in more and more uh, risk. I love to work, y'all. Been working all my life. Um, so it's not that. It just, we're gonna be on the bus. They said we're gonna be mandatory to wear the mask. We gotta be mandatory to wear our mask. I don't know about this mask thing. What make you think that you got a mask on that you're told to protect from this virus if it's airborne? I mean, like, you know, I know they said about the saliva, the spit, and yawning, and the coughing, and all that. If you get it six feet distance, you got a good, good, good chance of not catching a COVID. But what about the airborne, the wind blowing, the air blowing on the bus, turning into a circle? You know, the stuff gonna go from one end to the other end of the bus. We're supposed to have some kind of plastic protective sheet up. I don't understand that either. But I just think it's dangerous for real. Because the stuff can get in your eyes, your ears, you still can get contact with it, no matter what you got on. I see that they said we can't wear the face shield. For somebody to say that. We cannot wear the face shield either. So that's out the door. Can't wear a face shield, you only can have the mask. They provided us with two masks. Let me show you two masks. They provided us with these two masks to get started with. We can wear masks. We can wear our own masks. Created masks that we got. But it can't have no other logo on it. It can't have no other logo on it. It only can have like the university or uh, it can't 
couldn't have nothing else on. So, with that being said, man, I'm kind of like scared. I'm kind of like scared because um, I don't want to be one of the ones underlying illness and, and catch this virus and get sick due to a company trying to build their because they're already rich. The job is already fit to rich, so I don't understand what they're trying to do. But, man, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. But, I'm really scared. You know, it seemed like it, it kind of scared me from that point. I'm not a scared dude either. I'm not like, you know, uh, you know, God don't, I know God ain't got me protected. I know that. But at the same time, I don't want to be no fool. Giving me the signs, giving them, just giving signs to say, you know, take a break, relax, chill with your family. And that's what I've been doing. I've been doing that a whole lot. I've been doing it all my life, anyway, since children were born. But this right here is something different, though, y'all. It's just something, something crazy. Something crazy. It's wild, man. It's wild. I don't know what to think about it, but. Y'all just put it in the comment section, man. Just, just, just let me know what y'all think. Also, y'all just pray that all of us be safe, making these moves, getting out, having fun, going to work, uh, going to the grocery store, just doing a lot of small errors and stuff that you do daily. But um, I don't know, man. Kind of rubbed me the wrong way with that. So we'll be back in action by Monday. I said the football team is practicing already. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's dangerous. I have to stay prayed up, y'all. Keep it. We to stay prayed up. Honestly, look at this hill. Dang. Yeah, pretty tight. I still got my navigation on. I need to turn that light on. The light is off, and we just we just ride. I don't know why I keep saying we, but it's, I'm just riding. I'll show y'all. I've been using we because I've been with my family the whole three months of being out, and I'm normally having my nieces or my ne my children with me. But I'm into this shop, and I'll let y'all know when I get there. Back in action. And I didn't know this hill right here was pretty deep up here in Columbus. It's a steep little hill right here. Columbus GA. Yeah, a little steep little hill right here. Had to get a little speed. Almost there though. The thing said two miles, two miles away. So I'm two miles away. Y'all, this thing right here, this thing right here is getting crazy. So I gotta turn around. Take the next right onto Veterans Parkway. I just turn around, lead. Just turn around, turn around. It's called the U turn 26s. Do U turns. 
Head east on 18th Street toward Veterans Parkway, then turn right onto Veterans Parkway. In 400 feet, turn left onto 17th Street. Take the next left onto 17th Street, then your destination will be on the right. All right, all right, I hear you. At this ya. moment, if I would have listened to that navigation so I system, turn, I, I would have went here, nowhere. It's the place, Benny Auto Parts. Your destination is on the right. Navigation so, lady said right, here. but it's a left. So lady, navigation lady didn't shut it up. So I'm here, y'all. Finna get in here and get my little part. Get in and get my machine shop part department. So I can get in and get my little parts, y'all. I'll be back in a minute. All right, got my packaging. All right, y'all. I done came and got what I came and got the stuff that I needed to finish my bill. So, with that being said, man, I cut my hair. I can't believe it. But, but so, with that being said, they really want me filming their stuff, he said, because he got a discounted rate. And a lot of these discounted rates, he didn't want his phone and stuff getting blowed off the chain, blowed off the hick. Dang, I left my keys somewhere. But he didn't want to get yeah. blowed off the um, phone's getting blowed off the um, thing for these deals. And these folks, a lot of folks ain't gonna show up. So let me let me get my keys though. I left my keys in here. Left my keys in the building. I left my keys. Remember they were all stopped, and I had to move them back. Then you grabbed them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the only people that dropped, dropped in the hole. We had to pull all that stuff out to go in there and dig it out. Man, I would have been mad. That's why I'm really. <laughs> and I'm from way down in Alabama. Oh, okay, okay. All right, thank you, man. All right, yep, but well, we out. Get out of here and let me get started on this project, y'all. Get started. Next time y'all see the video, I'll be driving. The guy said next time I come, he got a few things on sale, but he said the next thing. He said the next time I come. I didn't understand that because I thought maybe you got it on sale. I thought maybe because you got it on sale, you should be able to film it. You won't want to film it, you know, to, to broadcast it. But I, I think I understand what he's saying. Like, they don't think every time they see that product, it's going to be that price. And I, I'm one of the ones I think the same thing. Every time, if I paid 200 for a last time, I think every time you get one, I should pay $200 for it. But it don't work like that. Maybe it's a discounted item because somebody returned it and they can't sell it for full price. So he don't, he, I mean, you know, so he told me next time I could film. So I'm just going to go for that. I may be, be back down here next time. But I came and got what I need to get. So it's a wiring harness. Cost a pretty penny to get it, but I need it. Um, but y'all, I'm out, man. I'm gonna holler at y'all when I get back to Alabama. See y'all later, man. Check these.